Call me if Jack gets back here. Where are you going? I'm gonna go find him, Todd. You're right, Larry. You look horrible. Shut up, David. You're missing the peak tanning rays of the day. What's wrong with her? No, my son just took my car. Sam? How can he drive a stick shift? He's too short. Jack, to... you idiot. All right. That's even worse. Yeah, no kidding. What do you want? I just wanted to. What stay. the hell are you doing here, Jack? You got away with murder. Wasn't that enough? I guess the felon doesn't fall far from the tree, huh? Don't talk about my son, David. What are you still doing here anyway? Shouldn't you be out tracking the kid before he runs over a basket of puppies? I can track him. Oh, you're welcome. Don't mention it. I live to serve. What are you doing here, Jack? I don't want this to be a big deal or anything. What does that mean? I just wanted to say, what happened to your mom? Was... What happened? Like she just watched? No, that's not what I meant. My mom walked into a trap that you set up. You made it happen. I know, I'm sorry. Is that a confession? Look, I, I just, I want, I want to explain. We're listening, Jack. This was all a big mistake. None of Jack. it should have... Dad, how'd you find me? GPS on your phone. You know he's coming here? This is between me and my son. No, actually, it isn't. What are you doing here? Let's go, Jack. Wait. He came here to tell us something. No, we're late for work. I can't, I can't go yet. Yeah, you can. Let him talk. We already talked about this, didn't we? About your job. It's never too early to think about your future. No, Dad. I want to tell them. I have to say this. Look, I'm sorry. Are no, you sorry about your loss? And we're both sorry about your loss, even if it had nothing to do with us. Come on. So what you came here to say? What do you want from him? He told you he's sorry, right? Which is very nice of you, Jack. It really is. But it's not going to help them, so let's go. Wait. I just want to say to you. I'm sorry. I... You're right, Manning. I saw your kid at the door, and I didn't want to hear anything he had to say. All I could think about was everything he had done to Shane this year. He said he was sorry. No, so no, that's that's what I mean. He, he he came here, he said that he was sorry, and I believed him. That had to have been hard. Especially because of the way that I went after you after they dropped the charges against you. I wasn't I wasn't thinking straight then. Well, that's understandable. The truth is, John McBain would not have let Jack off the hook if he thought there was any chance that he could have committed that crime. No, no, he wouldn't. So this Brad kid took responsibility for what he did, and it's done. Nothing can bring Gigi back. You know, all Gigi ever wanted was to end all these problems between our kids. We say we end it now, huh, Manning? Yeah, that's good, Rex. Gigi was tough, but she had a big heart. She was fair. She believed in giving people second chances, even if they screwed up before. She understood people made mistakes. Yes, well, it's, we should get going. Bye. How could you do that, Jane? Jack is the reason Mom's dead, you know that! The only reason he's walking around is because his dad has money. That's right. Isn't that why you wanted Clint's money in the first place? So that we can fight them? Exactly. Then how could you say Shane, that? I didn't mean a word of that. Except for the part about how great mom was. How could you suck up to that jerk? Because it puts Todd Manning exactly where I want him. Dev, why are we here? <clears throat> because your mother would have a conniption if we didn't show her that you're fine. But you're under no circumstances to tell her what you did, you understand me? Dad, I didn't steal your car. I borrowed it. Right, without a license, but I'm not talking about the car. You were about to confess just now, weren't you? So? So what did you think Rex was going to say? Hey, man, that's cool, no problem. I don't know. I do. You'd go to prison, Jack. You know, I I'm not certain you understand how lucky you are in this situation. Anyway, no one's going to know what you did, right? Rex and Shane want to move on, so do we. It's all part of the plan, Shane. 
I want Todd and his evil little spawn relaxed. I want them to think that this is over. But it's not. No. They look at us and they think that they've won, that we can't touch them. Because that's what you want them to think. Right. And now Jack and Todd will never see us coming. <laughs>